Hey, right, what's up, you guys? Uh, it's me again. Um, today we're gonna be doing a Nirvana uh, themed review. Um, it's gonna be over Incesticide. Um, I've mentioned this album before in a lot of my videos um, as one of my favorite uh, albums from Nirvana. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first question is, which has the best hooks? Um, alright, because the lot if you haven't heard this uh, album before, which I'll leave in the link in the description of uh, where you can find the songs, <clears throat> and a lot of the a lot of these uh, uh, this album and a lot of many other Nirvana songs, uh, they have a lot of hooks. So this one's called Dive, and the lyrics are. Pick me, pick me, yeah. Live alone, lone single. At least, at least, yeah, everyone is hollow. Pick me, pick me, yeah. Everyone is waiting. Pick me, pick me, yeah. You can be the baby. And then the the hook is dive. Dive, dive in me. Dive in me. If you already know the song, then you're familiar with uh, how it goes and everything. Alright, this is a really good song. Um, as far as hooks go, I don't think I don't think Dive has it. It's a it's a pretty decent hook. I think uh, I like it because it sounds like he's saying die, so it sounds like die, 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 and then it's obviously Dive in May, and then it's kind of like a homage to a sexual reference, an innuendo, if if you will. So. I'm not going to give the hook to Dive, but it's definitely a really good song. Really catchy. It's kind of on the heavier side. Okay, the next song is uh, Sliver. <clears throat> Now, as far as hooks go, I'm gonna have to give it to to Sliver. Uh, it's really catchy. It's kind of on the like my not passive aggressive, but like teenage angsty. It's giving me teenage angst kind of vibes. Uh, the lyrics are. Where's the lyrics? Mom and Dad went to a show, dropped me off at Grandpa Joe's. I kicked and screamed, said, please, oh no. Grandma, take me home. And go outside and ride your bike. That's what I did. I killed my toe. After dinner, I had ice cream, fell asleep, and watched TV. Woke up in my mother's arms. And the chorus is, uh, Grandma, take me home. Grandma, take me home. Grandma take me home, grandma take me home, grandma take me home. That's pretty much the hook. And uh quite frankly it's one of the catchiest hooks I've ever heard in my life. Grandma take me home, 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 grandma take me home. Grandma, take me home. Anyways, I'm not going to continue singing because it's. <clears throat> you have to hear the song. It's really good and really catchy. And yeah, so the hook definitely. The best hook goes to Sliver. It's really catchy. Alright, I'm going to move on to the next song, which is Stain. And also the next question which has the best lyrics? Alright, so from looking at the lyrics, uh, Dive. Sliver and this one's stain and the lyrics are well he never bleeds and he never fucks and he never leaves cause he's got bad luck well he never reads and he never draws and he never sleeps cause he's got bad blood yeah I'm a stain I'm a stain I'm a stain I'm not gonna give it to Stain, cause 
that just seems really simple. It does give me like an like an idea of how uh, if Kurt Cobain wrote this song, it's very creative. It's very um, what's the word for it? it? Just gives you an idea that maybe he uh, it's he it's something how he feels about himself and or not not completely if you have a different opinion leave a comment in, in the comment section I'll be reading those but uh yeah I'm not gonna give it to Stan for the best lyrics been a son she could have stayed away from friends she should have had more time to spend she should have died when she was born she should have worn the crown of thorns she should have been a son she should have been a son she should have stood out in the crowd. She should have made her mother proud. She should have fallen on her stance. She should have another chance. She should have been a son. Also, another thing is, uh, description. Uh, tell me what you think. Some of these lyrics. Uh, and how do you in how you interpret them? How you want to interpret them? Maybe what you uh, have an idea. Of maybe what Kurt Cobain was trying to interpret himself. Leave that all in the comment section. I'll be reading that as well. Turn around. Uh, take a step outside yourself and turn around. Take a look at who you are. It's pretty scary. So silly, revolting. You're not much. You can't do anything. Take a step outside the city and turn around. Take a look at what you are. It is revolting. You're really nowhere. So wasteful. So foolish. Poppycock. Who said don't look back? Don't believe him. For go for that crazy sounding restaurant. Because they're going to try and go get behind you. Don't you let them do it. You know what I'm talking about. You hear me talking. It's pretty scary. It's so revolting. Take a step outside the country and turn around. Take a look at what you are. It is amazing. Alright, so far we are on Benison. It's a pretty good song. The lyrics are okay. Um, not the biggest fan of this song. But it's pretty good. Alright, so Turn Around has pretty good lyrics. Molly's lips. She said, she take me anywhere. She take me anywhere. As long as she stays with me. She take me anywhere. As long as I stayed clean. Kiss, kiss. Molly's lips. Molly's lips. Kiss, kiss. Mm, those are catchy. It's a really catchy song. But I'm not going to give it for the lyrics. Up, up. Alright, son of a gun. Up, up, and down. Turn, turn, turn around. Round, round, about, and over again. Gun, gun, son of a gun. You are the only one. Makes any difference what I say. The sun shines in the bedroom when we play. The raining always starts when you go away. That's a pretty lyric. Um, I kind of like it. But, close, but no cigar. Son of a Gun has really cute lyrics, in my opinion. Uh, New Wave Polly. If you already know what Polly is, you probably know the lyrics, but I'm just going to give you a little bit. Um, Polly wants to crack or think I should get off her first. I think she wants some water to put out the blood torch. It isn't me. We have some seed. Let me clip your dirty wings. Let me take a ride. Don't hurt yourself. I want some help to help myself. I've got some rope you have been told. I promise you I have been true. Let me take a ride. Don't hurt yourself. I want some help to help myself. Polly wants a cracker. Maybe she would like more food. She asked me to untie her. A chase would be nice for a few. It isn't me. We s we have some seed. Let me clip your dirty wings. Let me take a ride. Don't hurt yourself. Those are, in my opinion, they kind of feel like rapey. Those are giving me rapey vibes, which I'm not really into. I don't really promote any of that. Or um, If you want to talk to me about it, message me on Twitter. But... Uh, I don't have I, I have a really bad opinion on rape culture and uh, actually a really strong opinion on rape culture and um, yeah so if you want to talk about that message me on Twitter but I'm not gonna talk about it in here because it's a very touchy subject and uh, um, that's not really what this video is about so yeah uh, Polly's lyrics are okay I'm not really feeling them beeswax lying here sitting in front of a fire not only Megan Squeaking infection when the mind blows right. 
downer and put your sincerity I've got a royalty defending your country alright I'm gonna go with what I've always said had the base lyrics it's Mexican seafood <clears throat> and uh oh it's your face it isn't even true the jaws and clams you entertain and chew the fungus mold it is my interaction oh it's only it's it's only a, it is an infection. Only her tonight until I pay. Only her tonight I fell asleep. Oh, coming from the diarrhea. Okay, her tired form. I come in peace and live a dirty book. In the cloudy glass, fender burn and become a childhood mess. Only her tonight until I plea. Only her tonight until I sing. Oh, take me back. Let's just concise some. Fleas, bugs, and flies, bugs, and fleas, and even milk can't. Stain the Vaseline and tatted burgers out in case it turns and takes its sight. It takes its childhood such. So yeah, Mexican seafood takes the cake for uh, best lyrics, in my opinion. Um, which song has the best energy, or the, the most energy? Um... I think, as far as energy goes, the one that has the most fun energy is Molly's Lips. Um, I, I love the way I listen, this song feels. Take me anywhere, as long as she stays with me. She said, she take me anywhere, she take me anywhere, as long as I stay clean. Kiss, kiss Molly's Lips. So yeah, a uh, song with the most energy, Molly's Lips. Uh, my favorite track is Mexican Seafood off this album. I like it because of the lyrics and the way he sings it. It's kind of on the, it's kind of disgusting. It's kind of grungy. Let it talk about itchy flakes. It sounds like itchy flicks in the beginning. On the air tonight. Alright, so those lyrics aren't the ones that I've always been used to. Let me show you the ones that I've been... You can't really hear what he's saying. So I can understand why some people might have a different outlook on the lyrics. But the lyrics are all the itchy flakes, it is a flaming. All the gels and creams, it is pertaining to a fungus mold cured by injection. Hope is only a yeast infection. Oh well, it burns when I. It hurts when I pee. Oh well, it hurts when I. It hurts when I see. Now I vomit, come in diarrhea on the tile floor like oatmeal pizza. Fill my toilet bowl full of a cloudy pus. I feel the blood becoming chowder rust. So yeah, that's my favorite track. I wonder why that person put a different type of lyrics. That's not a big deal. Anyways, um, the next thing is Nirvana versus the Vaseline. So a couple of these songs that are on this album aren't actually Kurt Cobain's original songs. They're covers, if you didn't know already. Um, the first one that I found out was a cover was, uh, I think, Son of a Gun. Molly's Lips and Son of a Gun. Those are the songs that are uh, the, by the Vaselines. And I read a review before about how 
if you weren't that they were thinking to themselves like oh if I wanted to hear the Vaselines I should I would just go listen to the Vaselines but shit. and um, I think that's true and the question is are these covers butchering the originals and to me the first one son of a gun Molly's Lips by the Vaselines was okay. It was kind of creepy, honestly. Um, if I had to choose between whose songs I would listen to on Molly's Lips, I would probably listen to, to Nirvana. It's more fun, it's more, like, I don't know, silly, and it's more rowdier than, like, uh, than the original. The original is kind of like, Molly's Lips, Molly. And it's weird. It's weird, and I didn't like it. <clears throat> Although, uh, Son of a Gun was a really good song, and if I, I do like uh, Nir Nirvana's cover of it, but I'm not gonna lie, the original was pretty, was really pretty, and I liked it a little bit better. So the question is, are the covers butchering the originals? No. Um, I think they have their differences, and they're good in their own right. Um, you can't say that they're butchering because it's a cover. Uh, if you wanted it to be an original or anything, it's like when you do a cover, you you add your creative touch to it. So, it's it, I, I didn't think you butchered any of the songs. Next question is comp the compilation album. Um, now, pretty much this is a compilation album, and is a uh, a lot of people are talking about how this album was more closely related to old school Nirvana versus like new school and to me I I talked to you guys about how Dance Kevin Dance's albums are different in their own way with the new singers and everything same with creativity I think uh, as Nirvana um, progressed and evolved into the com commercial oh wait it's a different oh yeah the commercial type of thing um, they got really good. They understood what they wanted from their fans. They understood what they wanted from the industry, and they made they got really successful doing that. Do I think that ne Nevermind was better than Incesticide? Do I think that Incesticide is just a shitty album altogether? No. I think Incesticide is great for people who listen, who maybe have listened to older, uh, like older stuff, maybe watched videos of Nirvana performing live when they were first coming out, because there are uh, live concerts and live footage of them performing stuff, and it's really sludgy and like, you know, kind of washed out, uh, it's not really great quality, it's nothing like if you were listening to Nevermind. So if you were pre a really big fan of the stuff like that, you don't even have to be a diehard fan. I think, I'm not, I used to be kind of obsessed, but I kind of got over it, and then I found this album, and then I was like, oh wow, that's pretty cool. I, I never knew that they had albums like this. And uh, it was just another, it was just a variation, a different touch on the on, on, on Nirvana's music. So, yeah, I think Incesticide is great if you've heard, if you're tired of, I mean, you can never really get tired of Nevermind in your utero, but if you are, you're just kind of like, oh, I wish you could hear something new and fresh. You know, something I haven't heard before, something that wasn't on the radio, never got really, you know, touched by media and is kind of like undergroundish, then I would definitely suggest Incesticide. It's really cool, it's really different, um, gives you a taste of where Nirvana came from versus, you know, who they, who they became. So, yeah. Um, last question is. Does non-commercial really mean better? Um, no, I don't think the fact that this wasn't this is uh, different just because it wasn't commercialized or put on the radio, or just because it isn't on the ground, and you're one of like those indie people that are like you know oh I like stuff that isn't media surrounded that this is going to be a better album. No, I'm not suggest I'm not saying that at all. I think that if you are just kind of looking for something different from Nirvana and you have you've only heard like the in utero and uh maybe in utero on bleach 
and a couple songs from Nevermind, or you've only listened to Nevermind, or you've listened to all three of those albums and needed something just a little more, like, different so you can, you know, have something, just one more last song from Nirvana. That This is what this album does for you. It gives you that little bit of, like, okay, this is so cool. I, I you know, even though... There is a missing musician from our industry, from the music industry. It doesn't mean that the music doesn't live on, and that there's not just a little bit of new music. If you go looking for um, for hidden songs, or if you watch a movie called uh, Montage of Heck, you'll find a lot of stuff from Nirvana that no one really uh, listens to, or the fact that, or just new stuff, because it's it's kind of, uh, not heartbreaking, but a little bit, uh, heart-wrenching, the fact that, you know, if you were really into the band, or you really got into them, you know, years after the fact that it kind of sucks that you won't get any more Nirvana. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, give this video a big thumbs up, and, uh, subscribe. Yeah. Overall, I give this video a... Not video, my bad. I give this album a 5 out of 5, because I loved it. I got really attached. And yeah. Peace.